Hi, I'm Gloria Coppola, a licensed massage therapist for almost 25 years and a continuing education provider for massage professionals. But today, I'm here to educate you if you're looking for a massage. Perhaps it's your first time and you're not familiar with all the styles of massage. So most people would generally get a Swedish massage. You usually see that on the menu of services in spas and private practices. Swedish massage has been around for a very long time and it consists of a variety of techniques. Most people think of it as being the relaxing massage, the nurturing massage, but when in fact the techniques that can be used can create rejuvenation and many other things for the body. So, Swedish massage consists of effleurage, which is a very long gliding stroke. And this stroke is done with oil, lotion, or cream. And the intention of the effleurage is to warm the tissue up and to get into circulation to increase into the tissue. Why is that? Because circulation, your blood, has your nutrients and oxygen, okay? And those will restore your muscles. Petrissage is part of Swedish as well. And petrissage is where the therapist takes your muscles and kneads them, like dough. Okay, you ever make bread? So they're lifting and squeezing and compressing those muscles, which are also going to help break up adhesions and bring more stimulus into that tissue and really relax that. Swedish massage also may include some stretching and range of motion movements, depending on what your body needs and what you have discussed with your therapist. There might be compression moves on a variety of parts of the body, usually like on your, your quads, your quadriceps, and your legs, and your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Nice, soft, subtle, deep compressions, which also spread and open that connective tissue, which might be making your muscles tight. Another technique that Swedish includes is called tapotement. Tapotement is similar to like percussion, like if you're playing the drum. Now these moves, that there's a variety of them, will be used when you need a little more stimulation, okay? So maybe you need more increased circulation, or maybe the therapist needs to bring um, this kind of a move a little rapidly into muscles that might be really, really tight, or maybe they're trying to wake up a part of your body. So there's a variety of Chipotman techniques that they may or may not include into your session. So Swedish massage is typically about an hour, and it, again, is generally referred to as relaxation, blissing you out, de-stressing you. But remember, it could also be deeper. It could be rejuvenating, depending on what you have discussed with your therapist. So enjoy your first Swedish massage. It's a marvelous experience. It's a great way to enhance your well-being. And if you have any questions, remember to discuss it with your massage therapist so that you fully understand what your treatment is about. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful day.